CataractCoach.com. Plan your capsule rexes to avoid the opaque areas. So don't let go of the capsule in an area of poor visualization. So here's our cataract case. You can see a lot of cortical opacities there. We can try milk some of them forwards as I showed you in the last video. But in this case, they're quite extensive opacities. And they're certainly gonna be in the path of our intended five to five and a half millimeter capsular rexus. So my advice here is, you can just plan out your rexus so that you only let go of the capsule to regrab it in an area where you have good visualization. So here's making the incision with the diamond keratome. You can see, looking at those cortical opacities, they're uh, probably every three o'clock hours or so, you should have a nice window where we still have a good red reflex. So let's start that rexus. Let me show you the technique here. So measuring out five millimeters, we're gonna poke in here in the center, and I wanna not go in that area where it's totally opaque. So I'll start here, and patients, um, your view is nine o'clock, patient's 12, Measuring out that rexus again. And now in this area, this quadrant, I have a really good view, so I'll keep continuing it. And again, I'm letting go and regrabbing only in a spot where I can still have a good red reflex, like right here. And now in this part, you just go right through that area. You lose the visualization for a moment, but you can certainly just complete it. And now you see there it is. Easy enough to finish up this case. Now, of course, our international viewers are saying, why not just put some tripan blue dye in? I said, I agree with you. Especially internationally with tripan blue dye is very, very inexpensive. But here in the U.S., you want to use it judiciously. It obviously adds an extra step to the surgery. In the U.S., it is $66 for a single dose or vial of tripan blue dye. That's for one patient. And if you need it, for sure use it. But you'll find out as you do more and more cases and you get better and better and your skills really develop. Listen, after about 5,000, 10,000 these surgeries you realize that you don't need the tripen blue dye all that often. And so in this case, believe me, I do what's best for the patient with the highest margin of safety. If I need the dye, I'll use it. So here's taking out the cataract, here polishing up the capsule bag. Let's get to the end of the case, and there's the rexus. Looks pretty reasonable. So yeah, you can do this technique, not that hard. You've seen other videos that we've had here on Cataract Coach where I'll do a capsule rexus even under the iris a little bit. So if the patient has, let's say, a four and a half millimeter dilation on the, on the pupil, I can do a five to five and a half millimeter rexus without directly visualizing that edge. So you know where it is. And this is something very similar. Again, we keep the highest margin of safety by only letting go of the capsule and regrabbing it in an area where we still have a reasonable degree of visualization. So there's the lens in good position, and you can see we're using that six millimeter optic to judge our rexus size, and it looks pretty darn good. So that's probably a five to five and a half millimeter rexus, and it's uh, exactly what we wanted. So try this technique. I think you'll find it very useful. You can use yesterday's video, which was 1339. That's the video about using the cannula to milk or push some of that liquefied lens uh, material, get those cortical spokes out of the path of your capsule rexus. But in a case like this, you see, there's a lot more of these cortical opacities. And some of them weren't necessarily purely liquid. Some of them had to become a little bit more fibrotic in nature. And that made it a little bit more difficult to move them out of the way. So here you go. There's that rexus. That's just about exactly what we want. That looks like five and a half or thereabouts. And let's hydrate this incision. Let's get that AC deepened. And you see there's a little bit of a catch of the optic edge on that rexus. So we're going to go in here. We won't leave it like that. We've got to make it just right. And so now centering up that lens, there it is. And look at that overlap. That's a really good overlap for 360. The patient's going to have a very nice outcome from this. Now, could you make a smaller rexus? Yes, listen, find your own happiness. If you like a 4.5 millimeter rexus, do a 4.5. And, and then finally here at the end, looks like we're going to put some triamcinolone in the AC. That is preservative-free triamcinolone. I have a good video here on Cataract Coach to show you how to get the regular 4 or $6 vial of, of triamcinolone and get the preservatives out of it. You'll have to go to cataractcoach.com and actually use the search function to figure that one out. But here, this is just a tiny amount. It's going to give the eye a nice break from inflammation. It'll be a nice quiet eye tomorrow. Here's a small limbal relaxed incision being placed opposite the main phaco incision. And that should treat just about a half diopter's worth of astigmatism. Let's check everything, and that looks great. So thank you for watching. And remember to search for that video about Kenlog on cataractcoach.com. Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website too, cataractcoach.com. You'll get the full text 
and the graphics and the photos plus the videos. And if you sign up for a free daily email, we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free. Come on. CataractCoach.com. Check it out.